championship game. A league with Gilbert Hicks, a, f a coach of one of the basketball teams in the league. We got number one playing number two, Lane Auto versus Electricians Hawaii. All right, we're going to go with the boards, going off to the sidelines. Negus Webster Jam right. with the shot. All right, I can see that they're going to have to work hard on the boards. Oh, here's Gary. Here's Gary. Okay, here we go. Here he is. Here he is. Here's Gary. Here's Gary. We got two shots. On the line, Negus Webster Chan for Electricians Hawaii. Two shots. First shot. No Off good. The rim and round. Second shot, good. One to nothing, Electricians Hawaii. And now yes, back much. is Gary Dickman, play by play commentator for this NCAA two game. And he makes the second. Good to be it's here, two Tony. To zero. You too, Gary. Nice to have you here. I thought I was going to be left on an island here until you got here. Go ahead. Take over. A little over. bit of traffic coming down, but that's okay. Championship game here. Ballard with the ball for Lane Auto Group. Shot is no good. Kavika Smith with a rebound. That bank shot is good. Tied at two. 50 seconds in. I do see Negus Webster Channon for this championship game. And Al Kai Wong, both for Electricians Hawaii. Wong with the ball, goes around a screen, three-pointer, a little short. Matt Ching with the rebound, doesn't have the numbers, pulls it back out. And we have got cutting to the basket, nice basket there. James, uh, not James Davis, that is John Marsteller. Didn't see him the other night for Lane Auto Group, 4-2. No, but I can Marcel tell right now, Gary, John is a good basketball player. That's for sure. I don't know who he is. Kavika Smith with the layup. No good. Gets his own rebound. Pump fake goes up, and the basket is good by Kavika Smith. 6-2 lane auto group. Connor Looney at the game winner on Saturday with the ball. Man-to-man -man defense. Covered by Pate. Goes up for the shot. Looney is fouled. Will go to the line for two. 18-13 left in the first half. 6-2 the score. Lane Auto Group playing for the championship against the defending champs, Electricians Hawaii. Gary Dickman with us, folks. He's a little bit late tonight, but he's stepped right in and he's in full gear right now. He's in full throttle right now. Had a paying job that I couldn't get out of. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. Looney makes the first free throw and the second. 6-4 Lane Auto Group. Pape with the ball now. Kyle Pape out of Iolani in Colorado School of Mines for a lane auto group covered by Alkai Wong. And we've got a drive to the basket by Matthew Ching, and he will get fouled. Well, I think, I hate to say this because I didn't think they'd have a tough time the last game, but I think Electricians Hawaii is in for a tough game tonight. Well, I think they are, but when I see Al Kai Wong and Negus Webster Chan, I like their chances. Uh, we got Ballard with the baseline jumper. 8 4 Lane Auto Group. Negus Webster Chan drives to the lane, tries a pass, but it goes out of bounds off of Electricians Christians Hawaii. Negus Webster Chan is with the Toronto Raptors D League team. It'll be called the G League team, the team this year. And he just got off the plane about a couple hours ago. Kind of like me in a way, because I just came from downtown a couple <laughs> of minutes ago. Long three by Kyle Pape, but a little too strong. Rebound, rebound Baranobis out of UH Hilo for Electrician Swahe. He drives to the lane, little contact, no call. Ball controlled by Kavika Smith. Almost throws it away. Marstella has the ball. Listen out of Gordon College. And a pass is deflected, no call, and Kyle Pape picks it up in the backcourt. 17-17 left in the first half. Ballard with the ball, post up, like he always loves to do over Clayton Guy. Shot is no good. Al Kai Wong with the rebound. He looks to run. Finds Baranobis to drive baseline. Baranobis goes up and he will be fouled by Kavika Smith. Brandon Baranobis had a great game Saturday. Guy can really sky. Kavika Smith, great athlete himself. As we're watching the replay, Baranobis drives baseline and he got hit on the left arm. Baranobis for two. 
And at times for the championship game, we see players who maybe have been missing for a little while will show up. And we are seeing one in John Marsteller for Lane Auto Group out of Gordon College. Uh, Al-Kai Wong and Negus Webster Chan, we weren't sure about that. Al-Kai Wong coming from the Big Island, Negus Webster Chan coming from the mainland. Marsteller with the ball for Lane Auto Group finds Ballard on the right block, covered by Bernobis. Marsteller with a fadeaway, a little short. Rebound, Bernobis to Al-Kai Wong, two Hilo guys there. 8-5 the score. Al-Kai Wong with the ball, covered by Matt Ching. Pulls up for a three. In for Al-Kai Wong. A couple of years ago, he had, I think, 38 in the championship game. A great shooter. And he makes the three. We're tied at eight. Kyle Pape with the ball. Covered by Al-Kai Wong. He's going to go around a screen. Get Clayton Guy now on Pape. Finds Ballard down low. Has a little bit of a mismatch. Fake goes up with the right hand. Good by Leon Ballard. Nobody's been able to stop Ballard for the last 10 years, so I don't suspect they're going to stop him. You know what he's going to do, and you can't stop it anyway. Baranobis with the ball against Smith. Turnaround, nothing there. Gives it a guy. Guy over Ballard. Pulls up for the turnaround, and is no good, but Leon Ballard will get called for the foul. And Clayton Guy out of HPU hit two free throws the other night with three and a half seconds left to send the game in overtime. I remember you saying, Tony, the most important free throws in this league in a very long time. Boy, they were big shots. I, and then he proceeded in the overtime to miss two. Couldn't believe it. He just finished his eligibility at HPU this past season. And of course, he misses the free throw after all that praise. Of course. Clayton Guy's second shot, no good again. <laughs> good thing that didn't happen on Saturday, or they wouldn't be here tonight. Pape with the ball, covered by Guy. Right corner, pulls up for a three. A little too strong. Rebound, Ching tips it to Kavika Smith. Nothing there, throws it away to Al-Kai Wong. Tries to pass off balance, and Kyle Pape intercepts it. Over to Matthew Ching. To Ballard, nice pass to Kavika Smith, cutting to the basket, reverse layup is good by Kavika Smith. 12-8 Lane Auto Group. Nika Webster Chan with the ball. Left-handed layup. Now he tries to reverse. Is no good. Pape with the ball. Covered by Webster Chan. Over to Kavika Smith. Covered by Wong. Down low to Ching. Covered by Looney. 17 on the shot clock. Ching pulls it out. Drives left. Nothing there. Gives it to Ballard. Little past his range. Thinks about it. He'll take a long two. It's good for Leon Ballard. That might be the longest shot I've ever seen him take. Yeah, I know. If he had that shot, he'd be in the NBA. If he could make in front that of the shot in the NBA. Line. <laughs> Webster Chan with the ball. He'll drive, turn around, loses it to Marstaller. Escapes the trap. He'll go coast to coast, throws up an off-bound oh. shot, and it's good for James Marstaller, who is asking the ref, where's the call? Oh, my God. But he made the basket. I've never seen him play before, but I'll tell you, I watched him in warm-ups, and he was very, very impressive. He's got a great body, he's got good speed, and it looks like he knows what he's doing. Well, uh, Baron Obis, the shot is no good. Loose ball will get a foul. That was impressive, not only on the loose ball pickup, escaping the trap, and then going coast-to-coast -coast with an off-balance shot. 14.35 left in the half, 16-8 now, Lane Auto Group. And I don't know if there are odds on these games, but I would imagine this is would be considered a slight upset if Lane Auto Group wins. I do, too. They, they lost twice during the league to Electricians Hawaii. Not by a lot, but they lost twice. We know but, Artie Wilson's team undefeated on the season, and the majority of that without Al-Kai Wong or Negus Webster Chan. Wong inbounds to Desmond Taltofi, just came in the game. 15-footer is off. He was their leading scorer on Saturday before uh, getting ejected with 27. Good bench player to have. And we got Brandon Matano in the game for Lane Auto Group. He and Al-Kai Wong playing the Hawaii Hammerheads over in Hilo. Part of the dunking on TNT. Matano tries to three. In and out. Rebound, and we're going to have a foul. Ching grabbed it, and somebody grabbed Ching's arm, and I believe that was Drew Vienna on the foul, and it well, is. Gary, this is the most experienced two teams I have seen since I've been watching this year. They have guys that have played basketball all over the country and all over the world, and they are very good players. You're not exaggerating about that. A lot of these guys have been playing in this league for 20 years or so. It's Scott Cotto, who played since 94 checks in the game for Lane Auto Group. Ching with the ball. Nothing there. Throws it out back to Cotto. Tried to throw it inside to Ballard, who catches the ball. Almost uh, got thrown away. He'll drive against Tautofi. Pulls up for the 14-footer. Is good by Leon Ballard in the baseline. 
18-8. Got a 10-point lead for Lane Auto Group. Baranobis with the ball. With the download to Tautofi. He'll drive baseline, loses it off his foot, and it'll go out of bounds off of Desmond Tautofi. 13-36 left in the game. Ching's going to take a breather. Yeah, they, they got a bench, too. So it's going to be a good game, I think. Chris Crawford in the game now for Lane Auto Group, number 12. Pape has the ball now to Kato. Crawford comes around. Left-handed layup is good. He was really effective on Saturday. Well, Chris Crawford he had, had the best game I've seen him play. Last game, he had you're right, he had 27 points. He led him in scoring. You don't and expect him to be either one of those guys, but he's done the job. Nice layup. Wong with the ball, tries to escape Crawford, can't. Humphrey goes up for the three, in by Alkai Wong. Thought that was off balance, but didn't matter to Wong. He makes the three. 20 to 11, Lane Auto Group. Matano with the ball over to Crawford. He'll try a long three, nothing but net by Chris Crawford. Five quick points. Yeah, Chris Crawford, I thought the last game he was good, but boy, he has really improved his game. North really West stepped Nazareth. up his game. Drew Vienna with a turnaround, force of the contact, and they're gonna call the basket good and a foul on Brandon Matano. Drew Vienna did that the other night as well, Tony. A uh, guy right on him on defense, post him up, it goes right in his face and makes a little eight footer. I know, very physical player, very physical, especially going to the basket. Vienna at the line for a three point play, and it is good. 23 14. Kyle Pape with the ball. Aaron Obis on him. Gets it over to Cato, over to Crawford. Gets the screen by Matano, doesn't use it. And Matano trots to the basket, he'll lose it off his knee. Turn over Lane Auto Group. Oscar Pedroso checking in the game for Electricians Hawaii. Another guy with a good game Saturday, but he fouled out. A lot of experience with uh, Pedroza. He's played a college ball for a couple years. Very good player. Shot is short by Alkai Wong. Loose ball picked up by Kato. Gets to the, uh, tried to get it to Crawford, and he threw it a little too far and a turnover lane auto group. Alkai Wong inbounding. Baranovas gets it back to Wong. Give it to Petrozo. Long three from the right wing. No good. Vienna with the rebound. Throws it back out to Wong. Drives in the lane. Right handed shot is good. Layup by Wong. 23-16, Lane Auto Group. Matano with the ball. He'll drive in. Right-handed layup, a little too strong, goes off. Wong with the rebound, over to Pedrozo, looking to run. Three on two, gives it back out to Tautofi. Thinks about the shot, pulled in the lane, back out to Pedrozo. And Oscar Pedrozo's three is short. Gets his own rebound. And now Baranovas with a long three from the right corner. That is good by Randon Baranovas. 23-19, four-point game. The Christians Hawaii back in it. Pape with the ball. Covered by Baranobis. Gets the screen by Ballard. Pulls up. In by Kyle Pape. He did the same exact move three times Saturday. Yes, Gets he the did. screen, pulls up on the left, and gets a shot in from the elbow. And that was a good screen by Scott Cotto, too. Very good pick. Very good. Wong with the ball covered by Crawford. Pulls up. Long two is good by Alkai Wong. On any given night, Alkai Wong can give you 30-35. He's a player. He's definitely a player. Pape with the ball on the four-point lead. Gets the screen, pulls up for a long three. No good. This ball, Tautofi. He's looking to run. Only got two on four, though. Behind the back pass to Pedroso. He'll try to three from the corner. That is good by Oscar Pedroso. We got a one-point game. Ballard looks to cut to the other end. Reverse layup, a little too short. And they're going to call a foul on Pedroso. That was a tough call. The official was well in back of the play, but he called as we see the replay. Tautofi. On Ballard's missed shot, I did not see it. Fouls on to Tofi. Ballard at the line. First shot, good. 26-24, Lane Auto Group. And Chris Young coming in the game for Lane Auto Group, replacing Chris Crawford. Chris for Chris. Ballard second shot. It is good. Three-point game. Has anybody got missed Kavika yet Smith. in this game, Gary? Has anybody missed yet in this game? <laughs> Not that I can recall. Well, I know the one free throws we actually saw uh, Clayton Guy miss after making them the other night, but a pretty good play game so far. And Kavika Smith back in the game 
as we mentioned, for Lane Auto Group. Wong with the ball, covered by Montano. Teammates in Hilo. Teltofi with a long three. And that is good by Desmond Teltofi. Another nice shot by the big guy. We are tied at 27. Well, we were thinking it would be impossible to top Saturday's second semifinal. Right now, it looks like we might be on the way. Matano pulls up. Off one leg, shot is no good. Paranobis with the rebound over to Drew Vienna. Pedroso gets the ball, left baseline, drives to the basket, nothing there, pulls it out to Vienna, gives it to Wong. Humphrey goes up for the three, and yes, for Alkai Wong. Yeah, I think Artie Wilson had a nice smile on his face when Alkai Wong walked in the gym. And we're going to have a timeout as since I've been here, this is the first lead for Electricians Hawaii. They have the lead. 30 to 27, and they were down 2 nothing early on, Tony. I've been fighting back in this game. I think it's just a little too much Alkai Wong right now. Guy's Al unbelievable. Alkai Wong was sensational. He hasn't missed a shot. He's made a couple, three or four threes. He shoots the ball off balance and hits. Somebody said he's playing pro ball in, in Hilo. He's playing for the Hawaii Hammerheads yeah. in Hilo. He uh, uh, and Brandon Matano, who's on lane autograph, they both flew in for the game after playing over the weekend in Hilo. Well, I think... Um, Electricians Hawaii without Al Kai Wong, Al -Kai Wong is, is very susceptible, but with them, they're very, very hard to beat. Like you say, he's a 30-point scorer every time he walks on the floor, and in a summer league like this where defense is a little suspect, that, that man is hard to stop, uh, very, very difficult to stop. And as Artie pointed out with us on our Sports Animals radio show, he pays his own way to come here. It's not like he's getting, you know, flown in at anybody's expense except his own. You gotta, I, I imagine the same for Negus Webster Chan. No oh, timeout is over. As Brandon Matano with the ball now for Electrician, for Lane Auto Group, excuse me. Marstella back in the game for Lane Auto Group as well with Tato, Chris Young, and Kavika Smith. Cato spins baseline, reverse layup is good. Off the top of the glass for Scott Cato. They're up by one. The Droves with the ball, drive baseline, gets hit, and they're going to call a foul on Scott Cato. Electricians Hawaii with a one-point lead. As we watch Pedroso ba drive baseline, it's like he got fouled twice. Young might have got a piece of him, but Cato got a bigger piece. No shooting foul. Well, now they're saying it is. One and one. one and Pedroso one. with the line. Oh, they're in the bonus after 17 foul. Good free throw shooter, uh, excellent free throw, free throw shooter. Uh, while he was at Chaminade and, and, and right now. And you jinxed him again. I knew and that I was going to happen. That's, I can't, you can't do that. I don't believe in that. You can't say that. There's no such but thing. I agree. He is that good of a shooter, except for that free throw. Young with the ball, covered by Vienna. Top to Kavika Smith. Ball is deflected by Baranobis. Kamika Smith gets it back to Matano. 12 on the shot clock. 30-second shot clock here in the summer league. It's like college. Kato with the ball. Shot clock down to six. Kato long three is no good. Vienna with a long rebound. Gives it over to Wong. But he'll bring it out for a three. And he gets fouled on a three-point play. Kato making sure he's okay. A lot of players would have taken that in for a layup. For Alkai Wong, the three basically is a layup. He takes it out for a three. <laughs> Not and it is for a layup. Out for a three. And gets three free throws. And we're going to have a couple of substitutions. No, wait, for let me say this before you say something, Gary. He's a good free throw shooter. <laughs> <laughs> see if it works again. Let's see if it works. He's also been named an assistant coach at UH Hilo for their men's team next year. Oh, really? Well, congratulations yeah. to him. And he makes the free throw, so the Besides, jinx is over. He's a, he's a great uh, role model for those guys to follow. If they're, if they're anywhere near as good as him, they'll be hard to handle. He played at UH Hilo for a little bit. Yes, he did. Makes both free throws. Uh, two of them. There are three, obviously. Negus Webster Chan coming in for Mars. Uh, we got to see who just took the bench for. Baron Obis uh, taking a seat now. Third free throw coming up for Al Kai Wong. 8.49 left in the half. That is good. He makes all three. I don't think he has missed tonight, Tony. You're right. Marstello with the ball for Lane Auto Group. Ballard setting the screen. Switch on defense. And Marstello tried the long three. That is no good. Young battling for the rebound. Saves it to Matano. He'll turn around for a three from the wing. That is short. And we're going to have a foul. It's like on Drew Vienna on the box out. 
Only the 14 foul for Electrician Swai, so it should be not shooting. Kavika Smith going to inbound underneath his own basket. Marstella with the ball. And throws a pass into Ballard. Tofi a little too aggressive. He'll get called for the foul. And that'll be another team foul. Still not in the bonus, though. Five. Smith inbounding again. Gives it to Ballard, cutting to the basket. Smart pass, smart movement without the ball by Leon Ballard for the basket. Vienna tries a long pass to Tautofi. Goes out of bounds off Tautofi. But Thomas Yoshida is going to talk to our other ref and maybe overrule that. And they are going to change it as we watch the replay. And it looked like it went off Kavika Smith's hand. Good uh, call by the official. Tautofi inbounding for the electricians. And two-point lead now. Gives it over to Webster Chan. Tautofi posting down low over Smith, and he'll get the foul call and go to the line for two. And with Tautofi's strength down there and his quickness, uh, he might miss. We talked about several players this way, but you're not going to really stop him. He's a tough guy to fend down low because of his quickness. And his size. You know, he's a little bulky. Uh, and, and besides that, he's a clever player. Yes. Might have a bad temper, but he's a clever exactly. player, I'll tell you. Knows how to get the angles for good positioning, good separation. Makes the first free throw. <laughs> Now, John Lane is not in uniform tonight. He's strictly in the coaching uniform for Lane Auto Group. That's what happens when you get, uh, I guess, five guys on your bench. Or four. Nine guys is a lot for any team in this league. Free throw is good. And we're going to have Chris Young take a breather. And Matthew Ching back in the game for Lane Auto Group. They trail by four, 35-31. Marcel with the ball. He's going to drive into the lane. A little scoop shot is good. Good extension there by Marcel. Good player. Tautofi's got the ball. It's like he's ready to go coast to coast. And he will. Left-handed bank shot is off and good. 37-33. Matano going to try to play the same game. We're just going coast to coast now. Except Matano misses. Wong with the ball. Gives it over to Webster Chan. Behind the back. Pulls up for a three. Nothing but net for Negus Webster Chan. Seven point lead for Electricians Hawaii. Marstello with the ball. Long on him. Nothing there. Finds Ching on the right side. Now up top. Covered by Vienna. Screened by Ballard. Ching thinks about a shot. Nothing there. Ballard going to drive. Spin move in the lane. Shot is banked and good by Leon Ballard. 40 to 35. Has anybody missed yet? I think we've got another 130 <laughs> to 120 game on our hands, which is fine. Wow. Well, they got a D League plus G League player on the floor. They got Al Kai Wong, who could play in any league he wants to. Both teams shooting <laughs> really very well, well right now. Very, very, very good athletes and very good basketball players. This is a very good showcase for the people in uh, Honolulu. We have a foul. Tautofi, Tautofi will go to the line for two. You know, they were nice enough to supply us with nice bottled water here, but this might as well be boiling water because it's very warm. I don't mean to be a whiner. <laughs> I think at halftime we'll get some cold stuff. And I mean water by that. Tautofi's first free throw is good. What a turnaround for like Christians Hawaii. Uh, they were down, I think, seven is the largest deficit. Ten. And now they were up by six. Ten. They, they were down ten. 18-8 at one point, yes. Yeah. They're up by six now. Marstello's going to get a breather, and Kyle Pape coming in the game for Lane Auto Group. Number 20. How Tothi's second oh. free throw is off. Kyle, Kyle Pape with the ball, covered by Wong. Ballot with his usual high post screen. Ching now gets the ball to Ballard. Nice pass down low over the top. Ballard with the easy conversion over the defender, which actually wasn't that easy. Webster Chan with the ball, covered by Pate. Drives in the lane. He's going to get a foul called on. They're going to call an offensive foul. Wow. And that's on Negus. We've got the replay here. And... He kind of grabbed Pape with his right hand, but it wasn't, he hit him with his right hand. It didn't seem like he actually grabbed or held him. The official, though, saw the right arm being extended, called the foul on Negus Webster Chan, who is still not happy about that. Pape with the ball, down by four. Webster Chan on him, Ballard with the usual screen. Ching with the ball, covered by Vienna, screened by Smith. 
Downloaded Bowden on the right block. Double team comes late. Tavika Smith with a wide open shot at the free throw line. No good. Pedroza with the rebound. Looks like he's going to go coast to coast. High arcing layup is good off the basket. Defender came late, so he just arced it a little higher. Beautiful play by Pedroza. Saw the opening and took advantage. Six point lead, 43 37. Pape over to Ching. Download to Ballard. Ball is deflected and stolen by Pedroza. Smart defensive play. He's going to try to go coast to coast, and he will be fouled. We got a travel now. Thomas Yoshida overruling the official. Todd a poet calling a travel. We'll watch the replay. Pedroza with the ball. It gets tied up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, I can yeah. see that. Can he didn't have any that. arm. He had all ball. I can see that travel. Good call. I can see that travel. Kyle Pape with the ball. How oh, Tofi's taking a breather and Clayton Guy back in the game, number 24 for Electricians Hawaii. Heck, Looney hasn't been on the floor yet, has he? Pape down low to Ballard. Double team. Trying to find an open player. Pape has it. Gives it to uh, Chris Crawford comes in and the left-handed shot is no good. Webster Chan with the rebound. Wong now with the ball. Stutter step, losing the ball. And we've got it out of bounds off of Al Kai Wong. Good defense by Matthew Cheng. 5.25 left in the half. 43-37. Electricians Hawaii with the lead on the ball. And we got Cheng cutting to the basket. A little too strong. Couldn't get the layup. Pulls it back out. Kavika Smith in the right corner. Pulled up for a long two. Short. Air ball. Pedroza with the rebound. Deflected by Cheng. Cheng tries to save it, but Vienna picks it up. Over to Wong. He'll try a three. And a miss by Wong. Loose ball, Vienna again. Finds Pedroso down low by himself. Nobody near him. Gets the easy layup. 45-37. Electricians Hawaii. Pay for the ball. And it's going to be a kick ball. Clayton Guy getting in there a little too late. Lane Auto is starting to walk up and down the court. They got beat on that basket when they were just... Electricians has three men to one. The rest of the guys are in the backcourt watching. And we have got Kabika Smith taking a little breather. Got Kato back in the game. We're laying auto group. Pape with the ball. Shot clock down to 17. Ching with the ball now. Thinks about a 3 nothing. They drive baseline. Not much of an angle. So he gives it over to Kyle Pape. Gives it back for Crawford. Long three bounces up. Hits the rim. No good. Loose ball. Webster Chan tips it but tips it out of bounds. Pedroso cutting to the right corner, a little too far. Good effort there by Webster Chan and Pedroso. 428 left in the half. Chris Crawford inbounding to Kyle Pape. Pape with the ball, covered by Wong. Ching now, right corner, right wing. Gives it over to Kato trying to get position. He's way out on the block, though. Vienna on him, though. He'll turn around, and shot bounces in and out. In and uh, in. Sorry about that. Good play by Scott Kato. Had the sides advantage over Vienna on that one. Vienna now with the ball. Wong. Still with it, covered by Ching. Webster Chan cutting to the basket. Nothing there. Gives it to Guy back out to Vienna. And the ball is thrown away, oh. but Pedroso picks up the loose ball. And it's deflected again out of bounds. Going to go off of Clayton Guy. And we're going to have an out of bounds. And ball will go to Lane Auto Group. 3.42 left in the half. Six point lead for Electricians Hawaii. Chris Crawford about to inbound. Gives it over to Cheng. Covered by Vienna. Trying to find Ballard down low. Vienna all over him. And now he gives it to him way outside the right block. Ballard pulls up for a long two. No good. Back to the air ball. But Kato picks up the rebound. Way on the other side of Crawford. Get the screen. He'll think about a three. Gives it over to Kato. Left side now to Pape. Pape two on the shot clock. Better hurry. Shot is no good. Hits the front of the rim. Ballard with the rebound. And that is off. Webster Chan with a push. No call. As Kato complains. Yeah, I think Scott Cotto's got a legitimate gripe. He got pushed by Webster Chan as the ball went up. And no call. And the ball goes out of, uh, that's a foul called on Lane Two Auto shots. Group. Ten fouls. And we'll have Webster Chan shooting a couple of free throws. 
Well, Neg Negus Webster Chan is for real. He's a for real basketball player. He's playing in the G League now for Toronto, like you said earlier. And he's very, he was very talented at University of Hawaii, and he's got terrific talent. And I wouldn't be surprised uh, at what level he winds up playing because he's First a terrific 6'7 athlete. Very, very versatile. Two or three. Very good body. Very quick. And he's smart. What I wonder is if he'll be with the Toronto Raptors when they have their preseason games against the Clippers in October. If I got a chance later. I'm not sure if he knows yet, but we'll see if we can talk to him later. Both free throws are good. Connor Looney in the game for Electricians Hawaii, replacing Pedrozo. Eight point lead now for the Electricians. Pape covered by Wong. Outside the Crawford, covered by Looney. I haven't seen a lot of Looney tonight. And now we've got the ball moving around the Kato. Thinks about a three, drives in the left side. Shot is good. They're going to call that good and a foul. Kato gets a runner to go in. We'll go to the line for a three-point play. Foul is on Webster Chan as we're watching the replay. Tough angle for Scott Kato. Not much contact on that one either. Maybe a little bit of a makeup call for when he got knocked down on the last possession. Oh, yeah, and that was the same official that was watching, too. Do you think refs do that, Tony, makeup I, calls? I don't think so. And I don't the free think throw is good. Your thought process. I don't think so. Five point lead for Electricians Hawaii. Webster Chan with the ball. Whoop. Over to Guy. The end of that with the ball. Nothing there. Pulls it back up to Looney. Ooh, travel. He tries to go inside. Nothing there. Back Delay up top to Wong. Always there for him. The three bounces in and out. And now Pape with the loose ball. The right wing. Pulls it up top, gives it over to Matthew Ching for the three. That is no good. We're going to have a foul as Vienna gets pushed to the ground. I think it's on Leon Ballard. And it is on Leon Ballard. Trying to get position there. We watch the replay. You can see Ballard kind of saw the end of it there, but Vienna ended up in the ground. Ballard with the contact. Vienna at the line for two. 2.16 left in the half. At halftime, I will tell you on the air about a referee telling us about a makeup call with a UH Hilo Shamanad game years ago. Oh, he made it. He said he made it. He makeup told me call. he was going to do it. Ah. Free throw is good by Vienna. And what game was this that you're talking about? UH Hilo versus Shamanad years ago. Yeah. As Negus Webster Chan comes by and says hello. <laughs> okay. We'll ask Negus as long as you're here. Are you going to be with Toronto in October? And he refuses to answer. <laughs> we'll get him at halftime or after the game on he that. He said he's going for 40. <laughs> Just came by to say hello a second ago. 48-42. One free throw is good by Vienna. Ballard with the ball, covered by Wong. And he throws it away. I'm not sure who that was, Takato or Pate. Neither guy got there in time. It was kind of between them. 157 left in the first half. Webster Chan with the ball. Spin move over Kato and the layup. Nice move by Negus Webster Chan. 50 to 42. Can play. He started his career in Missouri before coming to Hawaii, just like Stefan Jankovic. Pape with the ball in the right corner, covered by Vienna. 15 on the shot clock. Ballard drive. Shot is short. Tipped out and loose ball, but Vienna picks it up. Over to Wong. Bounce pass to Webster Chan. Left handed layup is good by Negus Webster Chan. What passing there. What hustle by Drew Vienna to start that play. And a 10-point lead now for Electricians Hawaii. Pape drives in. Runner is no good. He's going to get fouled by Clayton Guy. We'll go to the line for two. Watching the replay here, Pape gets fouled on that play. Good call by the refs. We'll go to the line for two. One minute, 10 seconds left in the first half. 52-42, the lead for Electricians Hawaii. Artie Wilson's got to be with his, got to be happy with the way his team has turned oh, things around. Very, very good performance. If tonight. you're John Lane, uh, you've got a few things to consider at halftime to get back in this championship game. One of them is making free throws, which has nothing to do with coaching. Brandon Matano comes back in for Chris Crawford. Mentioning about Matano, he's on that TNT dunk show called the Dunk King. Yeah, but uh, the first year, a little over a year ago in TNT. I uh, didn't win it, but looked great in that competition. You got to remember, Gar, uh, Negus Webster Chan and Al Kai Wong did not play the last time that electricians played that semifinal game. Not at all. 
Webster Chan with the ball gets fouled by Matthew Ching. Let me tell you a story about Negus Webster Chan. He called me up about three weeks. No, I'm sorry, during the basketball season. And he says, Coach, what are you doing in Texas watching me play basketball? And I said, I wasn't in Texas. I was in Hawaii. He said he saw someone who looked just like me, so he had to call me up and say, thanks for coming. And, of course, it wasn't me. You could have taken credit and let him know how special he was. He is special. You flew, well, that when he was in the D-League? or yeah, No, it was, in, it was Texas in the D-League. Yeah, he was, I didn't know what he was talking about. I said, Texas? Well, I don't go to Texas. Oh, he missed two. Oh, misses both free throws. A minute left in the half. Matano comes down, coast to coast, makes a nice easy layup. 52-45. Watch it. Trelane Auto Group would like to get it a little bit close before the half as we are at the 52nd mark right now. Vienna over to Webster Chan. Goes around a screen. Nothing really there. Pulls it back. 13 on the shot clock. Wong has the ball. And he pulls up for a three that's close to the midcourt, but it's short. Mar uh, James Davis in the game with a rebound. Gives it over to Wong. And he gives it over to Davis, cutting to the basket. Nice shot by James Davis out of Prince George Community College. Contra with the ball, 18 seconds left. Nine point lead for the electricians. And they're gonna wait for the last shot, something we don't see too often here. Pay for the ball. Six seconds. Pulls up for a three. A lot of time left. Hits the three. Wow, nice shot. Big shot for Kyle Pate. Six. Wong with the ball. Try a shot from three quarters court. Woo. Pretty close, but it is off. Woo. And we are at halftime. 54 to 48 is the score. Electricians Hawaii. Before I go any further, I want to let you know about a referee using doing a makeup call and telling me about it. This is before you coached at HPO. This is how old I am and they're playing at UH Hilo. Mark Rodriguez was the guard for Chaminade, and Hilo got called for a bad foul. And the referee, I will not mention his name, he's still around Hawaii, uh, came over, the, uh, right in Hilo in those days, the stands were right in back of the uh, basket by the stage, and you're about six feet off the ground, the referee was right there, and I said, that was a bad call, you missed it. And he goes, sometimes we get too close to the call, you do make a bad call, it happens. I go, you can make up for it. He goes, you might not know I am, but I'm gonna make it up, trust me. They come out of the timeout, and as soon as Mark Rodriguez takes, touches the ball, gets called for a traveling. Chaminade bun bench erupts. Somebody threw popcorn on the court. They knew it was a bad call. The referee looks at me and winks. He had the makeup call immediately. It was not a travel, but he made up for the bad foul call. That was a that was a great story, but a bad referee. Yeah, no, actually, he's done a pretty good job. I, I'll tell you his name later. I don't want to embarrass him off there, because I know he's still around Oahu. Uh, let's talk about tonight's game, Tony. We mentioned the six-point lead. Uh, if you're Lane Auto Group, how do you try to get back in this game in the second half? Well, I think this young man right here, number 15. Uh, for Marcella. Marcella for Lane Auto Group is an excellent player. I don't think he should be off the court as much as he was in the first half. I think he sat out for like seven, eight minutes. And while he was doing that, you know, they kind of built up a lead. The other thing is, Negus Webster Chan came in. He was on the bench, and he gave him a little spurt, and he helped them out after Al Kai Wong kind of cooled off a little bit. So what you're seeing are some very, very good basketball players who I would love to have on my team because they're they're very talented. It's hard to stop Al Kai Wong when he's shooting, shooting from 35 feet out. We'll see what John Lane has in store. All of the games from the 2017 Hawaii College Basketball Summer League playoffs are being recorded by one of our sponsors, Olelo Community Media. Olelo's mission is to strengthen our island voices through innovative media. They are furthering that mission tonight by working with us to record this event as a community service. Tonight's game will be aired on Olelo's channels in a few weeks. Look for the air dates at the Summer League, game, uh, Summer League website, hawaiicollegebasketballleague.com. Olelo covers events like ours across the island, and they offer training to teach Oahu residents how to create their own program at one of their six community media centers. After training, use of the equipment and airtime on their channels is completely free. They ask only that you help to strengthen our island voices by sharing your own perspective, ideas, and stories on the channel. Please visit Olelo's website at olelo.org or speak to a staff member tonight about the services they provide. Hawaii College Basketball Summer League would like to thank Olelo staff and volunteers for covering the playoffs. Please watch this video from Olelo, and we will be right back with the second half.
Gary Dickman and Tony Salito here at courtside. We are about ready to start the second half of the championship game for the Hawaii College Summer League. Electricians Hawaii looking to repeat, and they've got a six-point lead over Lane Auto Group. Tony, Saturday we saw the first few minutes of the second half really turn things around uh, for society contracting. What do you think Lane Auto Group needs to do in the first three minutes? Well, I'll tell you, though, the only thing that uh, surprises me is that Electricians Hawaii has a very, very strong basketball team with Negus Webster Chan and Al Kai Wong. They're both excellent players. And and Lane is going to have to work real hard to catch up. A lot of depth. Obviously, uh, Desmond Tautofi starting the second half tonight. He misses the layup. And Marstaller, the guy you were talking about at halftime with the ball, over to Ballard. Back up top to Marstaller, covered by Wong. Ballard now loses the ball. That's a very rare turnover for Leon Ballard. Brandon Baranobis haven't really heard a lot of him in the first half. He and Connor Looney in the backcourt with Al Kai Wong, Dikas Webster Chan, and Tao Tofi. Tao Tofi with the ball covered by Kavika Smith. Turns around, tries to muscle his way in, does, and will get the basket and the foul. Again, you can say what you want about the guy. Sometimes he gets emotional. I, I'm really impressed with his overall game, offensively and defensively. You know, I, I've never heard anything about him before last night. Last night he had 27, and tonight he scores every single time he touches the ball. He, I, I don't know but where he's been hiding, but I haven't seen him play. Kaimaki High School and then UNLV player. for football. Terrific player. And he makes the free throw, three-point play for Tautofi. Nine-point lead, 57-48. Marcella in the backcourt with Kavika Smith, Leon Ballard, Kyle Pape, and Matthew Ching for Lane Auto Group. And Marcella gets down low, turns around, high arcing shot is short. Wong with the rebound. Gives it over to Webster Chan. Covered by Pape, spins. And the, gonna hit a foul before the shot. They'll be bounding underneath the basket. I did get a chance to talk to Negas at halftime. He's not sure, he hasn't been told if he's gonna be with Toronto for the preseason game against the Clippers. Not 100% sure if he'll be with Toronto with their G League team this year. They had a great experience with them last season winning the championship. Webster Chan with the ball, turnaround jumper, nothing but net. Nice shot by Negus Webster Chan. An 11 point lead now, 59 48. Pape with the ball. Drives in, goes around the screen, drives in the lane. Little floater is good. Nice shot, Kyle Pape. More aggressive Pape offensively tonight than on Saturday. Looney gets the ball but pulls it back out to Tofi. He muscles his way in. Tough angle, gets his own rebound. That is no good. And the ball goes over to Ching. Wow. Tough shots. Wow. I, I, thought, he got he, I thought he was going to score. Marcella oh. with the ball, get a clear path to the basket and the dunk. Marcella for James played Marstella. at Mililani High School. Marcella? Mililani. Yes, he did. They have him listed here uh, for Gordon College. Sure Never heard is. of it. Wong pulls up for a three. That is good by Alkai Wong. And a 10 point lead, 62 52. Again, it's tough to defend when a guy's shooting from 30, 35 feet out. This might not be 35 feet out. A few of them are. If the drive to the basket is no good by Pate, and Webster Chan picks up the ball. Pate right on top of him, knocks the ball away. Marstella with the rebound. Well, he picks up the loose ball to Kavika Smith. He cuts to the basket. He's going to get fouled by Tautofi. And Desmond Tautofi has kept his mouth shut tonight, but in a way, sometimes he's his own worst enemy by getting fouls and maybe getting in foul trouble. But when he's playing his game, and good call there by the refs as we watch the replay, he is so tough to defend. Well, he's a sh he sure is an undersized, low-post player with yeah. a lot of moves and a lot of athletic ability, that's for sure. And he's been on uh, best behavior tonight. Kavika Smith's first free throw is no good. Artie Wilson has got a very deep bench tonight. You could look at his bench and really get three guys that I'm looking at now that could be starters. Oscar Pedroso, Clayton Guy. In fact, they were last night. Yeah. <laughs> Drew Vienna, James Davis. Ballard picks up the missed free throw. No good. And Baranobis with the rebound. Gives it over to Wong. Hilo to Hilo. So they flip the Chan. Nice no-look pass. Webster Chan couldn't convert, but somehow picks up the loose basket. I don't know how he came back after missing that shot. Almost got it before it went out of bound, but it does go out to Lane Auto Group. Kyle Pape inbounding right in front of us. And I think they've got something. Referee's going to be talking about something. Making sure the shot clock is set to 30, which it is. Pape inbounding to Marstaller. 
recover by Wong. And Marstella going, uh, gets the screen from Ballard, uses it to get the shot off. No good. Webster Chan with the rebound to Tau Tofi. Good defense by Marstella. Intercepts the pass. Gives it over to a cutting Ballard. Shot on the left side of the basket is good by Leon Ballard. 62-54. Looney with the ball. Looney with a long three. Around the rim, no good. Kavika Smith with a long rebound. Gives it over to Marstaller. One on three, he's got to pull it back out. Looney all over him, drives left baseline. Somehow gets a shot off. Tough shot, no good. Tautofi with the rebound. A lot of Re the run. Gets past Kavika Smith, shot is no good. Webster Chan picks it up over to Wong. Wong gives it over to Baranovas. He'll try a three. Three-pointer good by Randon Baranovas. 11-point lead, 65-54. 16-30 left in the second half. Pape with the ball. Covered by Tao Tofi. Good defense by Alkai Wong. He anticipated the pass, but he reached in a little bit too much. It'll get called for the foul. Two team fouls on both teams. Seven in their shooting. Artie, Artie Wilson does a good job getting his good players here when they have to be in the finals. <laughs> yeah, I'll I like the way you describe that. Now, Nika Swept to Chan told me at halftime, he, he didn't fly in for this game. He was coming back for a two-week vacation anyway. You're not too sure of that, are you? I, I don't. I have no comment. That says it all. <laughs> <laughs> Pape with the ball. Long three by Kyle Pape, oh, and it man. is good. That was Derek Lowrain by yeah, Kyle Pape. Orion Harada rain. Kyle you, makes that shot in his sleep. He used to anyway. Tell Tofi drives in. Left-handed shot is good off the backboard. Back to a 10-point lead. 67-57. Under the 16-minute mark. Marstella with the ball. Covered by Wong. It's a switch. Nobody picked him up. So he goes in and will get fouled by Alkai Wong. Are you surprised at all, Tony, that we haven't seen a team, I don't believe all summer, use a zone defense at all? I don't think zone's allowed in this league. It isn't allowed? I don't think so. Uh, Pat Tanibi said in the beginning of the year, at the beginning of last year, a zone wasn't allowed. Otherwise, I'm sure. Uh, that's James Marstaller at the free throw line? I'm sure they would play a zone because you get tired and you got to have a few minutes rest unless you're well I would think it might would save guys from getting in foul trouble a little bit too <clears throat> one out of two free throws for Marsteller Tautofi with the ball Smith on him gives it back up top to Wong Ching on him Wong goes to his left Marinov is cutting to the basket but he's covered so Wong will pull up for a 20 footer it is off Marsteller with the rebound down by nine, Marstella gives it over to Ching in the right corner, but Marstella, after giving up the pass, collided into Connor Looney. Momentum carrying in as we watch the replay here, and uh, a good call. Looney standing his ground, and Marstella just could not hold up in time. So he'll take a breather. As Brandon Matano, number 23 in the game, with the Hawaii Hammerhead, says here he played at Vermont Tech. No, he played for UH, for UH Manoa as a walk-on in the early 2000s, never played in a regular season game. Wong with the ball. Over to Webster Chan. Pulls it back out. Nothing there. Gives it to Baranobis. Down low to Tautofi. Spin. Shot is good by Desmond Tautofi. And Kavika Smith's got sides, but it's just a tough angle to defend. No, he, he just goes around him like water. I mean, like nothing to it. Ballard with the ball. Shot it, uh, hits the bottom of the backboard, gets his own rebound, puts it in. And, and Ballard goes around him like he's, he's not the there. Replay. He lost the ball actually against the backboard and then gets his own rebound, puts it up and in with a foul. Trying to make it a three-point play. As you said earlier, Tony, so much experience in this. I mean, Negus Webster Chan's been played in this league maybe three summers total, but you guys, guys like Scott Conto. Um, he's been on here since the mid '90s. Leon Ballard, Kavika Smith, Leon Ballard, all since the '90s. John Lane has been playing since the '90s. Boy. Free throw is good by Leon Ballard. First year for Connor Looney, but did a great job at HP. So we got some of the old, some of the present. All talented players here. Eight point lead. 
Webster Chan with a runner goes uh, side of the rim and no good. But Tano loses the ball off his foot, somehow gets it back, and he'll be fouled by Clayton Guy of HPU. McConnell extremely quick. Very quick boy. Missed some easy shots tonight. I was a little surprised. He's an excellent basketball player. Matano inbounding to Kyle Pate. Crosses midcourt. Covered by Baranobis. Long three again from Kyle Pate. This one is short. It's in front of the rim. Kato with the rebound over to Matano. He'll try a three. No good. Webster Chan gets the rebound. Tipped away by Kato, but electricians keep the ball. Baranobis with the ball. A little stutter step. Drive to left lane. No good. Kato with the rebound. Over to Pate. Pate looking for Ballard. Ball is deflected by Baron Obis. Good defense. Electricians with a steal. Al Kai Wong waiting for some help. Gives it to Looney, cutting to the basket. Baseline, nothing there. Up top to Guy. Cross court to Baron Obis, and he's wide open for a three, so why not take it? But he misses. Pate with the rebound. Over to Ching. Ching now down to Ballard. Left block. Covered by Webster Chan. Kato with the ball. Matano now for a three. Three-pointer by Brandon Matano. Just like that, we're down to five. 69-64. Baranovas with the ball. Kind of an alley oop was a little short, and the shot was a little too strong. Trying to get a little fancy there, the electricians, where it didn't work that time. And Matano on the other end tries an alley oop from Ching. Matano got up the ball a little off its mark. And we're going to get Kyle Pate holding Negus Webster Chan. Chris Crawford coming in the game, number 12 for Matthew Ching. 13 10 left, second half. 69 64 the lead. Connor Looney inbounding in front of us. Gets the ball back from Webster Chan, covered by Crawford. Pulls up for a long three with Crawford right on him. Shot is no good. Tipping is no good by Baranobis. Goes out of bounds off of Cato, and it'll be Electrician's ball. One thing I like about Scott Cotto, he shows a lot of sportsmanship in these games. Yeah, he always does like that. Baranobis with the ball, gives it over to Looney, spin move. Cotto comes late, not only good sportsmanship, but good defense. And they're gonna call Cotto for the foul, but he's uh, telling his defender, uh, the offensive player, that no harm. As we watch Looney with the spin move, Cotto comes late, does get him on the left, uh, right elbow. Two shots for Connor Looney. First one is good. Love watching him play at HPU this year. Uh, again, one of the top four teams in the country. Went to the round of 32 of the national tournament. Only two losses this year. The second one into their season. Makes both free throws. Seven-point lead. Matano with the ball. Down to Ballard. Double team. Right side to Crawford. Up top to Pate. Ballard now at the free throw line. Down to Kato. He's going to turn. Put up the shot. Left hand. The shot is no good. Put back is good by Chris Crawford. Good positioning by Crawford. 71-66. Webster Chan goes around a screen. Comes back. Shot is short. Matano with the rebound. Pulls up for a three again. And again it is in. Two threes in a row for Brandon Matano. Just like that is a two-point game, Tony. Seemed like it was just 10 a minute ago. Looney picks the dribble up. Nowhere to go. Gives it up to Wong. Been quiet lately. Covered by Matano. They're getting their teammates at Hilo. And out by Wong, I guess, wow. heard that uh, he's been wow. quiet and makes a nice what break a shot. moving to his left. And he was guarded. Shot. And he was guarded. Paper the ball. Five point lead for Electrician. Kato up top. Crawford now take a three off the rim. Guy with a rebound. Over to Wong. Gives it to Webster Chan, cutting to the basket. He loses the ball, picks it up and tips it to Baron Obis. Back up top to Wong again. The shot is no good. Rebound, Matano. Uh, Crawford over to Matano. Matano still with the ball. Thinking about a three, but the defense is right on him. better guard him, though. He'll shoot it. You better guard him or he'll shoot it. He's going to take it now that the single coverage shot hits the front of the rim. No good. Wong with a strong rebound. Almost a double dribble. Wong takes it coast to coast for the layup. Nice move by Alkai Wong. And John Lane has seen enough and will call a timeout. 76 69. The score 11 04 left in the second half. A 
couple of times, Tony, it's looked like Lane Auto Group is maybe on their way out, even though there's a lot of time left. But every time they've gotten down by 10 or 11, just like Saturday night, just like the first half, they've made some key shots. Matano with two threes and have gotten back in this game. It was a two-point game. A 5-0 run now for electro Electricians Hawaii gets it back up to seven. A lot of time left. What do you think the big adjustments are now for either team? Well, yeah, I, I think it's very difficult, and I've always thought this my entire coaching career. When you're playing against a team better than you, you better really have a good game. Now, Electricians Hawaii has beaten them twice. Now they come on the floor. Al Kai Wong comes back. Negus Chan comes back. They got some great support players. Tautofi is playing absolutely out of sight. And I think it's going to make it very difficult for Lane Auto to come back because they don't have the talent the other team does. The other team is a very, very talented team. You know, over the years, you and I have both had shout outs given to us from our good friend Neil Everett on SportsCenter. I think we'd return the favor right now. We're going to give Neil Everett a shout out if he is watching online. And I'm sure <laughs> he is. <laughs> At Olelo.org. <laughs> Paid with the ball after the timeout. Trying to get a screen, nothing there. Ballard now posting down low. Up top to Kato. Matano with the ball, he's been hot. Two threes for Matano in the last two minutes. Tries for another and he makes it. Third three of the last three minutes for Brandon Matano. Kato with the steal. Lead is down to four. Matano really keeping him in the game at this point. Pay for the ball. He's gonna shoot it. Drive baseline and Baron Obis. Grabbed the jersey and Pape not only grabbed the jersey Gonna but makes the layup. Two-point game once again. Wong with the ball way outside. Waiting for the screen by Webster Chan. Now Matano on him. 15 on the shot clock. Right block to Webster Chan. He's got a muscle and spin baseline over at Pape. They're going to call an offensive foul. You can see that coming by uh, Webster Chan's first move. As we watch the replay, kind of clears out, sticking that left arm into the stomach of Kyle Pape. You get called for that every time, the official right there. Good officiating, great camera work. Matano with the ball. Covered by Wong. Goes so around the screen. Matano over to Ballard. And the right-handed shot from the left side is good. Tied at 76. Unbelievable. Got a brand new game. Unbelievable. Are we going to get overtime again, again, Tony? I wouldn't again? mind. Again? Wong with the ball. Plenty of time left. The 9.30 mark right now. Wong with a long three. Off. Vienna tries to rebound. Tips it no good, but Baranobis picks up the loose ball. Back to Wong. Down Vienna. Fakes. Goes up. No foul. Vienna trying to draw the foul. The ball gets deflected out of bounds. And we will have Desmond Tautofi coming in for Clayton Guy and Kavika Smith coming in for Leon Ballard. I have a feeling Ballard won't be out too long. Saranovas with the ball. Down to Tautofi. Muscles his way in over Kato, which is hard to do. Misses the shot. And Tautofi nice rebound. now uh, nice losing rebound. his emotions a little. Oh, it's Set a about shot. The call. Pay for the long three. It is good. And Lane Auto Group has the lead. 79-76, it's been one, they get the steal. Matano over to Crawford, he hit the three. Six point lead for Lane Auto Group. They were just down by seven less than two minutes ago. They were on a 13-0 run. It was 76-69, Kavika Smith uh, trying to get the steal, but Artie Wilson not too happy calling timeout. With 8.51 left in the second half, what a turnaround. And we've learned over the years, and even in these playoffs, Tony, no lead is safe. Yeah, but, you know, I'll tell you, I've lived through no three-point line, and now they have a three-point line, and I'll tell you, that changes the game. No lead is safe. With a three-point line and the guys get hot, like those two guys just made two really clutch threes, I mean, you have to be on your toes all the time. There's no let-up, because if there's a let-up, and, and using the Golden State Warriors as an example, they'll shoot you out of the game in five minutes. You you won't even know what hit you. They'll be up by 30. I, I, they're unbelievable. So 
I, I think what it's done is it, it's made concentration much more important. No loafing. You got to have a strong bench. You got to give guys a rest. If they don't respond, you got to give them a rest. And then we got to play the game and see what happens. But with a couple three point shooters, as you have just seen, anybody's dangerous. And, and no lead is safe. As and we've you seen said different guys step times. up. It was Brandon Matano with three threes, Chris Crawford with the last. There's a lot of players on both teams that can come up with the big shots and have shown it over these weeks. Well, last night was a good example. Uh, he hit nine threes. Derbyinos. Derbyinos. What a game he had on Saturday. Baranovas with the ball down low to Vienna, posting up Crawford. Vienna moves to the left side. Shot is no good. Good idea, though. Al Kai Wong picks up the loose ball. He gets fouled by Chris Crawford. And Lane Auto Group not too happy with that call. And we have the replay coming here. Al Kaiwan goes up. Tough to see on that. But the hand was up. Couldn't see the contact there, but the hand right up on him. Al Kaiwan at the line for two. Both teams have 16 fouls. They'll be shooting one and one each on the next foul. Wong at the line. And if there was an award, Tony makes the first free throw for the longest, deepest threes in this league. In all the years I've been watching, I'm not sure if anybody's hit deeper threes than Al Kai Wong. No. He's closer to midcourt than he is the three-point line on a lot of these. Ryan Harado is like that as well, especially at Iolani. But Al Kai Wong, boy, he'd be in back of the NBA three-point line by a few feet. And he had a tryout with Toronto in their uh, free agent tryout a year ago as well. And we're going to have a basket and a foul. I'm not sure what the foul is by Tata Poe. I think the shot clock went off is the problem. At one end, our shot clock went off. So the basket is good. It's 84-78. And they'll fix the shot. But getting back to Al Kai Wong, I remember, I believe it was after last year's championship. Might have been two years ago. But he had a tryout with Toronto. No, and, yeah, uh, he, he, I know he might not be an NBA player, but I think he's a guy who could get paid to play. And he has a little bit. And he's with the Hammerheads, but also coaching now at UH Hill of an assistant coach well, just got he, announced last week. Gary, he's definitely a European player. I mean, he can play in the D League, a G League now they call it, without any problem. But a lot of the guys with that kind of ability just don't want to leave Hawaii. And I don't blame him. Yeah. Kavika Smith picks up the loose ball. He's going to drive coast to coast. A couple of years ago, he might have dunked it, but he gets the easy layup. That was 25 pounds later. They'll take it. Eight-point lead for Lane Auto Group. 15-point turnaround. Wong with the ball. Fakes at the free throw line by the elbow. Shot is good by Al Kai Wong. 86-80. A little under eight minutes left, and I think these teams will score around 120 each or so tonight at this rate. Pape with the ball. Over to Matano. He's been hot. Another three for Brandon Matano. He was like Derby Enos from Saturday. Four threes this half for Matano. Vienna drive to the basket, draws the contact, and he's going to get fouled by Crawford. Wow, what a and call. And he will be at the line at least for uh, one and one, if not two. I'm not sure if they're going to call it in the act or not. But it is a seven-team foul. Well, you know, Al Kai Wan is, is really a good example for these young kids. I think, I, I'm not sure, but I think he's in his early 30s, and he's never been a better player than he is right now. I agree. Never. Never. It never been better. Because he wasn't that outstanding at Hilo. He was a good player, but he wasn't right. that outstanding. Now he's almost unstoppable. The end at the line for one and one. First shot. Hit goes up. No good. Out of bounds. And they're going to call it off Kautofi. So Lane Auto Group with a nine-point lead. It's still amazing to say that. They were down 76-69. And they're going to have another foul. Montano driving to the basket, and that'll be a one and one. Montano has changed the game. It's changed he the really complexion has. of the game. He hit three threes, and now he's going, going to the basket. Got fouled for two shots, and he's changed the whole com, the whole character of the game. Four threes in the last several minutes for Brandon Montano. Misses the first though, called it a two shot foul, averaging 19 points in the summer league, and. If you ever get a chance to watch him dunk, you are in for a treat. And we saw it here a couple of weeks ago on an alley oop. Unbelievable hops. Mike's the second free throw. 10 point lead, 90 to 80. 722 left in the half. Plenty of time. Baron Obis with the ball. Been kind of quiet offensively tonight. Tautofi now is going to drive in. Left handed shot is good. 
No way to stop that with his uh, left handed shot right of the lane. Brian. And the ball gets thrown out of bounds from Lane Auto Group. This is what they do not need, especially unforced turnovers with an eight point lead. They don't want to give Electricians Hawaii any openings. And Wong trying to take advantage. Fakes as he goes up, and he makes a layup. Two layups in a row now. Get a little pressure there after the basket. 90 to 84 at Lane Auto Group. Paper the ball. Goes around a screen. They'll pull up for a long three. No good. Ball about to go out of bounds. Try to, Kamika Smith tries to save it, but he's unable to get to it in time. Webster Chan helping him up. Good uh, turnout with the fans here tonight for the oh, championship wow. game. Very good turnout. Very, and on a school good. night. Webster Chan with the ball. Goes around a screen, left baseline. Reverse layup now, no good. He gets fouled by Leon Ballard. And Negus Webster Chan will go to the line for two. As we watch the replay. So athletic. Yeah, Ballard, so I didn't see athletic. any contact by Ballard. I saw him swinging. But if the refs say it happened, it happened. We think. <laughs> we we think. trust. I heard that thing, Gary. Webster Chan, up. first free throw, good. Played only one year at the University of Hawaii, redshirted his first year, and then played the second left after his junior year to go pro. When Iran Ganat took over and did a pretty good job playing for Toronto in their D League. Second free throw, no good. Loose ball controlled by Kavika Smith over to Matano. Matano still with the ball. Right, Matano is not going to give that ball up either. Not unless he has to. Montano driving left baseline, pulls it back up to Ballard. Shot from the elbow, no good, but he gets fouled by Tal Tofu, who uh, is not happy about that. We watched the replay. Uh, it looks like he got him on the elbow there. Barely, but it doesn't matter how hard. If he got him, he got him. And you're, you're th hearing that it's his fourth foul, Tony? I think that's his fourth or fourth foul. And we'll see if Artie takes him out. It looks like Clayton Guy's about to report in for Tautofi, maybe saving him for the stretch. Leon Ballard's first free throw is no good. And Guy comes in for Tautofi. Ballard averaging 31.2 a game in the Summer League. Uh, Scott Cotto coming in the game. He's going to go in for shooter, which means Leon Ballard if he makes a shot. <coughs> and in and out for Leon Ballard. Five-point lead. Webster Chan with the ball. Gets a screen from Guy. Goes around it. Spins in the lane. Nothing there. Gives it over to Baranovas. Shot is too strong. Matano with a long rebound. Coming up on the six-minute mark of the second half. Matano with the ball. Covered by Guy now on the switch. Down to Ballard. He's going to try it over Wong. Nice shot, Leon Ballard. Right. Turn Tough around right over. See the difference between 15 feet and the low post with him? He scores every time. And Al Kai Wong gets his layup blocked. The attempt is blocked by Leon Ballard. On both ends of the court, Ballard. Montana with the ball again. Seven point lead. 19 on the shot clock. Pulls up for a three. No. This one no good. Baranovas with the rebound. Gives it over to Wong. Around the back, he's going to get fouled by Kabika Smith. You know, one thing, Tony, you mentioned about the three-point shooting is getting teams back in the game or giving them lead. I think, though, even though you've got a seven-point lead, you're going to live by the three and die by the three. By that, I mean you can extend this lead, sure, but by taking a low-percentage shot every time you miss, you're giving Electricians Hawaii long rebound, maybe in transition, and letting them get opportunities to get back in this game. Well, I agree, but all, I've watched Mon Montano now, the first half. He shot very poorly. Second half, he was hot as a pistol. And when he's hot, I guess he figures everything he shoots is going to go in. And he took that shot thinking, surely it's going to go in. And that's what happens. You're exactly right. That's what happens when you're a hot three-point shooter. You take some shots that you shouldn't be taking. You just wonder if maybe they can take higher percentage shots or use the clock a little bit. Absolutely. But that's Absolutely. probably not going to happen. Not going to happen. This is a park game. Free throws are good, 92-87. Best shooters win. Yes. Mentano with the ball. He's going to shoot it again. Watch him. We'll see. Oh. I think he likes to. 
And Here's another guy do does it. the He's same been, uh, thing. Not shy at all about taking three from way out there. Scott caught two of the ball. He, he won't Good take defense him. here by electrician. He Paper won't the take ball. Back. Ah, Short. Kyle. Guy with the rebound. Kyle. Almost intercepted by Marsalo. Comes back in the game. But Pedroza makes the layup for electrician's Hawaii. They only trail by three now. Marsalo with the ball. Nice walking. Did a good job in the second half. Uh, first half for Lane Auto Group. Marcel over to Kato. He's going to take a three. Nobody on him. Shot is a little short. Bounces out of bound. Electricians Hawaii could tie on this possession. That's two threes they've taken they shouldn't have taken. And you're open, but still, it's not the shot you really always want open or need. Uh, Ball stolen by Mantano. That's the play you want. Oh. He misses the three. Could have used some clock. There's another three they took. They're they settling shouldn't. for threes. Wong with a rebound goes coast to coast, and he makes it and gets fouled. Oh, Alpai Wong at the line, trying to tie this game up. As we watch the replay, had the separation. Mentano came late, Kato on him. Not sure who they called it on. Could have been on either one. But I believe it's on Kato. And now Kai Wong trying to get a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Trying to tie this game up at 92. And he misses. Pedroso gets the long rebound over to Wong. Try a three. This is no good. Rebound Smith over to Marsteller. Gives it over to Pape. Pape covered by Drew Viano. Oh, that's a foul. Nothing there. Pulls it back out. Gets the screen. And he's going to get a foul, foul. call on the end, I believe. Foul. Refs are calling it pretty tight right now, which they should. Foul is on Drew Vienna. And we'll have Pape at the line for a two. Leon Ballard, we said he wouldn't be out long. He comes in the game for Kavika Smith. Pape trying to extend this lead with a 358 mark. Two throws shots. good by Kyle Pape. Tenth foul, two shots, huh? What a career he had at Iolani. Oh, what a career he had. Wasn't the biggest name, but was a big time player. Colorado Mines. He had a great career yes. there too. He's he's just a good solid I they're player. D2, in high correct? I think they're D two. They're D two, definitely. They're in the league I I played in Colorado College. And Pape makes both of them. 94-91. Pedroza with the ball. Covered by Marsteller. Pushes off a little, nothing called. And looked for somebody down low. I guess they expected Guy to cut the other way, but Guy was standing his ground, did not get the ball, deflected out of bound. Gary Electrician to down to the wire, Gary. retained possession. 22 on the shot clock. Pedroza with the ball. Pump fakes, nothing there. Drives baseline, nothing there. Pulls it back up top to Webster Channel. Try a long three falling out of bounds. Air ball. Rebound Ballard. Bad shot. Montano with the ball over to Pape. 335 left in the second half. Pape with the ball covered by Webster Chan. Marstella with the ball. Cross court pass. Ah. Almost intercepted. Mentano gets it over to Cato. Wasn't expecting it. Gives it back to Kyle Pape for a three. Shot hits the rim. No good. Bounds out to Pedrozo. Pedrozo looking to go coast to coast. Gets bumped. The last, the last four shots that Lane Auto's taken have been threes. The last four. Macanano made saying. a great steal and then he shot a three. Could have taken it out and held them. Him. No. You're settling for them. Yeah. And some of them you don't you don't you understand, but some of them you would think maybe take a higher percentage shot. And maybe use the clock a little bit. Montano ooh, takes a breather. Matthew Ching back in the game. Oh, Vienna will get on the, uh, go to the bench for Connor Looney for Electricians Hawaii. Looney will get the ball. Way in the backcourt. Ah. Good defense by Pape to deflect the pass. But Pedroza gets the three to go, and we are tied at 94. Only fitting at the three-minute mark. Tie game. Game is up for grab. Pape with the ball. Tough defense by Electricians. Last several possessions. Kato way out top. Can't find Ballard down low in the last couple of times. Marstella with the ball, eight on the shot ah, clock. They're gonna have to hurry. Marstella drives to the basket, layup is short. Pedroza with the rebound, gives it over to Tautofi. Clear path to the basket, misses the shot. Ball sli uh, slipped off his hand as Pedroza came. Uh, uh, not Pedroza, but Cato came late. 
Well, like Christian Hawaii with a golden opportunity to take the lead. Now Topi goes up and you can see the ball slipping or rolling off the bottom Can't of his hand. It. Can't believe that uh, Topi missed that shot. And they call a foul on Pedroza. That was a tough call as well, knocking it off from Cotto. So Cotto will go to the line for two. High game, 94 all, 226 left in the second half. I can't believe Crawford and Matano are on the f off the floor at the same time. They're both just dynamic players. Free throw is good by Scott Cotto, one point lead for John Lane and Lane Auto Group. Artie Wilson will call a timeout. 95 94, 226 left, and we have got one more free throw for Cotto. I, I, again, if I'm John Lane, I'm telling my team, don't settle for these threes. If you're wide open, you feel good, take it. Don't try to be a hero right now with these threes when you don't necessarily need them. Yeah, but what was that word you said, try to be a hero? Don't try to be a hero. Don't try to don't be Don't settle. A, don't settle. I'm playing I, the role of a coach now, Tony. I think those, I think those terms have been used so much <laughs> that coaches are tired of saying it. I'm you cannot settle. Speech. You just cannot settle. You have to take your time you have a full 30 seconds to run the clock down to to get a good shot make sure your best shooter gets a good shot and uh, hopefully you'll be successful but in this type of environment people players aren't easily told what to do you know what I mean they're just it just doesn't happen they're not patient at all they think that they're just as good as the next guy and they can handle it are you a coach that in these kind of situations where coaches would hopefully have their players listen, are you reminding them of the basics like, hey, box out on every shot, take your time? Do you remind them of the basics? Well, I, I, I think that, w that that's what I've always said for years and years and years. You know, you're only as good as your assistant coaches, and that's something that they should be preaching all the time. The head coach is more like, take your time, take your time. Let's be patient. Let's get a good shot. Let's get our best free throw shooter on the line. Something to that effect. So sometimes it works. Oh, oh, he bounced it right off his knee. Well, Cotto makes the second free throw, two point lead. Pedrozo drives, he gets fouled by Cotto. And again, I, I, even if you miss these shots, again, these shots from four or five feet are a lot higher percentage than 24 feet. And some of these guys have been hitting threes that look ridiculous going in, but they're going in, so I can understand that. But it is crunch time. It is time, really, where this game is going to go either way, depending on the plays made down the stretch. Well, I think those guys have had enough of a rest. And smarter teams can win. Pedroso misses as it goes in and out in the first free throw. Good free throw shooting. Very good. Show Think me how good you are again? in the last two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the rest of the game. They can make it a one-point game. And barely oh, goes in. One point game, 96 95, 219 left. Marstello with the ball. Covered by Pedrozo. Marstello going to go all the way by himself. Hold you on a foul on Pedrozo. It's hard to believe some of these guys don't have four or five fouls by now. And Marstello taking the high percentage shot, but did not use the clock at all. Use Two free throws. Clock. First one, no good. It's gonna be a one possession game with 2.14 left. One point lead right now. Second free throw attempt. Good, 97-95. Long with the ball. Covered by Chang, gonna get a screen from Tautofi. Little pick and roll there. And Tautofi gets the ball off the pick and roll. Shot is too strong. Tippin is no good by Wong. Loose ball controlled by Lane Autocrat. What an opportunity for Electricians. Why layup is too strong. Tippin no good. Ballard now oh, on the other what end. A pass. The layup. What a great got a four pass. point game. Minute 48 left. Webster Chan with the ball. Still plenty of time. Looney thought about a deep three, thought better of it. Gives it over to Tautofi. He's going to drive. Puts his head down, goes up. Shot. Rolls in, oh, looks like it was gonna be short, but has a little bit of momentum, goes in two point game, 99-97. And we're gonna have a timeout from Lane Auto Group. 137 left, Lane Auto Group with the two point lead and the ball. And it's obviously too soon to start fouling, but at some point when you hit the 32nd mark or so 
Uh, the team trailing is going to have to think about that. You know how free throws are so important. And I really would love to hear what both coaches are telling their players right now. But you can tell the basics. We know they're telling them the right thing, but I would remind them not to take that low percentage shot unless it definitely feels good leaving your hand. Try well, to get I, those layup. Try to draw contact and go to the free throw line. Well, I, you know, personally, I think uh, uh, Electricians Hawaii goes to the basket much more than uh, Lane Auto. Lane Auto shoots the ball constantly from the three-point line. I think Lane Auto Group, I mean, Electricians Hawaii will do it when they're in transition. They don't really have a, a low post game like Leon Ballard brings to Lane Auto Group. But if you get it, if you get in transition, yeah, you're taking it to the hoop. And a tough time getting it in bound, but Ching gets it. Got some full court pressure here, and get the trap at mid court. Looney and Wong cannot steal the ball. Marcelo with the ball, he's going to take it. Oh! Shot from the free throw line is good. We're back to a four point lead. 101-97. What a shot! Minute 22 left. Wong with the ball. Passes it. Marcelo it, uh, deflects it out of bounds. It's going to remain what electrician basketball. Marstella with a good game on both ends of the court. Made that nice basket, and Marstella with a nice defensive play. This is a big. This is the biggest possession for Electrician. They got to score. You know, Artie Wilson putting his shooter back in, Oscar Pedroso, for Ranson Baranova, who again has been quiet on offense tonight. Looney with the ball. He takes a three, in and out, around the rim, and no good. Big Not miss. Thought he had some space there, but tough shot. Marstello with the ball. And now Kyle Pape gonna use a little clock, except Ballard is open underneath and gets the one-handed dunk for Leon Ballard and a six-point lead as we hit the one-minute mark. Wow, Wong now thinks about a three, takes it. This one shot no good. Pedroza with a putback is good. Four-point lead, Artie Wilson calling another timeout. 103.99. 52 seconds left. Okay, it's a four-point lead, two-possession game. If you don't get the steal with Electricians Hawaii in about 10 seconds as we're watching the last putback coming up from Petrozo on the replay, do you foul? Again, there's a lot of time left. Do you let them run this clock down and use 25 seconds or so? Or do you foul them sooner? I don't foul. I don't foul. I always like to take a chance at stealing the ball. I don't foul. I think you're just giving points away. And I, our level, of course, it's a lot different because college guys shoot, you know, practice, 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 practice. So tonight, you know, you foul, I don't know. You know, your guy doesn't have a good chance of making that free throw. They're not all that great. They don't practice that much. So. You're going to have to pick the guy. I'm, I, would, I don't know if they know the percentages. I'm sure they have an idea on who they rather foul remember, and who they rather not remember foul. Remember what I said, though, guy. Everybody's a good free throw shooter until the last two minutes of the game. Everybody. Well, then Clayton Guy was on Saturday. Then it counts. Well, and we are in for a great ending here in the 41st annual Hawaii College Summer League here at Manoa Rec. Gary Dickman and Tony Salito here on Olelo TV. 52 seconds left. Lane Auto Group with the lead and a four point, with the a ball and a four point lead. One four, one four. That's what I'm I mean, what you want to do is get pick them to the, pick and roll. If they're going to shoot, shoot early. They get the trap off the inbound. Tape double team gets out of it to Ballard. Over to Marsteller. Over to Matthew Ching. Kato with the ball. Over to Ching. To Pape. Take 18 em. on the shot clock. Take him. Take him. Covering him. Take him. Going to go around go. to Ching. No. 12 on the shot clock. No. Game clock down to 31. No. Kato with the ball. No. Over to Pape. Six on the shot clock. Ching got it down low. Throws it to Marstella, tries a long three, no good. Rebound is controlled by Al Kai Wong, who's going to get fouled. 21 seconds left. I mean, Lane Auto Group didn't score, but they used 28 seconds. That's, that's, a, good, a, good that's a good thing. What they don't want to do is foul with no time, no. the clock stop, and now Al Kai Wong looking for an opportunity that's for two free points. five or six seconds he, he just gave up by committing that foul. So if Al Kai Wong makes these, or even makes one, it's a one possession game with 21 seconds left. I imagine Artie Wilson will be fouling rather quickly on the next possession. Can't let him use the clock anymore. First free throw, good by Wong. 103-100. And I know you say you don't like calling timeouts. I have a feeling these coaches saved all their timeouts for the end because we're getting one after. It's like an I, NBA game now. I think. 
I don't know how many games Artie is. I think it's great to call a timeout in between a first and second free throw. I think that's a great strategy if you practice that in practice. Mm. Shoot a free throw. I have a feeling they did. No, I got to no know. But I think that that should be used as a weapon. I think it's a good rest. And I think if if you practice that, it has less, much less effect on the players than if you just do it casually and go time out one more shot. Sure. He invariably winds up missing that shot. But not if you practice that all the time. You practice that all the time. He's a little, he's confident that he's going right. to make it I'm because sure he did it all the time. Artie is setting up his offense for when they get the ball either on the free throw being made or missed. Well, they're pressing. They're pressing, miss or make. It's a big difference, though, if he misses because it'll be a two-possession game if he makes the shot. Well, excuse me, it'll still be a one-possession game. He misses it, though, so it's still a one-possession game. 103-100. Electrician trying to get within two. Could not convert. A rare miss for Al-Kaiwan. They, they foul immediately, one. which is smart. All they need you don't is want one. the clock to move, but you don't want these uh, Lane Auto Group players, and it'll be Matthew Ching to make these free throws. So one possession game, one of these two are made, and it is a two-shot uh, free throw. Two possession game is going to make it awfully tough. I, I want you people out there to look at Al Kai Wong and Matt Ching and tell me if they look like twins. Yeah. <laughs> they look alike. Matthew Ching's first shot is short. Oh, so this is Matthew, obviously as important Matthew. as the last time because, again, it's a one possession game. If he makes the free throw, it's a two possession. Man, I gotta make it. He's gotta make it. This is a big this is a big free throw. Make it for it. Get set. Second free throw. Made it's it. good. Oh good. Much harder to make left, the second than the first. Webster Chan with the ball. Need to hurry. They don't need a three necessarily, but they need to hurry. Webster Chan makes the shot and gets fouled. Well, they're gonna have a chance for a three-point play. Not the way Artie drew it up. But watch Webster Chan behind the back, drives in the lane, right-handed shot is good as it rolls around the rim, and he will go to the free throw line. They should, uh... so think about this, if he makes this free throw, down by one, you can foul and still keep it as a one possession game. The entire white team should have been back on defense facing him. So if somebody, if he goes by somebody, somebody else would be Shot there. is good by Webster Chan, 104, Now they're gonna foul again, right away. They got a foul. 15.7 left. Ballard inbounding. Tough defense. And he calls timeout. And I can't believe there are many timeouts left for either team. 1 4, 1 4. So the 104 103 lead. If you're Artie Wilson, you've got to obviously try for the steal. Uh, I would think Artie Wilson is letting him know if it gets down to 9 seconds, 10, whatever the exact mark is, then you foul. Can't really worry about who you foul. No, I think he's going to foul right away. I think he's going to foul. Minute, throw the ball in bounds. He's fouling it. We'll see. Can't wait too long either way. Watching a replay of Tau Tofi driving in the lane just a minute ago. This is a shot that looked like it was going to be short, but rolls hey, they in. put the guy back in. About time. And Marstella pulls up from the free throw line at the other end with a nice jump shot. See an excellent play by both teams all night long. It's a shame somebody has to Take lose. Ching now ready to inbound. High defense. Runs in the backcourt, nothing there, gives it to Pape. Pape gets double team, no foul yet. And we almost had a jump ball. Why they didn't foul earlier with a mean trap. And they almost got the jump ball, which is what they wanted. Possession arrow is for Lane Auto Group anyway. So they would not have gotten that jump ball to really benefit them. No foul. No foul. We're gonna have two free throws for Kyle Pape. 12.4 left. Now, even if he makes these. Like Christian's Hawaii can tie it with a three. Come on, get off the line and get back on defense, goddammit. What are you doing at half court? First shot is good by Pate. 105-103. Marinovas comes in for Drew Vienna, better three-point shooter if they need that. Yes. And you look at like Christian's Hawaii, every player on their court is a good three-point shooter. 105, 103. Second free throw. It is good by Pate. 106, 103. Do you foul if you're Lane Auto Group? Or are you going to let them try a three? Webster Chan drives baseline, and it goes in! Megas Webster Chan drives baseline, makes the left-handed shot, will go to the line to tie this game up. 
shot, wasn't it? Wow. Shot, we watched the replay with Webster. I'm surprised he didn't try a three. And if I'm Lane Audit Group, I would have fouled him before the shot attempt. No, it shouldn't have been. They're calling it. Watch, where do you see it? Webster Chan looking to tie this game up. Wow, what a turnaround. Pate made the two free throws. He did his job. Seven seconds, plenty of time. And I'm surprised Webster Chan did not go for the normal three. And he makes the three. We are tied at 106. 7.7 .7 left. And we're going to have a timeout by Lane Auto Group. Now, this is not the NBA where you advance the ball to midcourt. But on Saturday night, Tony, we saw a somewhat similar situation with a tie game. And Connor Looney goes coast to coast, gets a layup with three tenths of a second left. Connor Looney will be on defense this time. If you are Lane Auto Group, Tony, who do you want taking that last shot? I don't care. I'm going to the basket. You don't Seven want to three, you want to go to the basket, time, maybe I'm draw a foul. The you would think that Electricians Hawaii is going to do everything not to foul. And so if you take it to the basket, I agree. And we'll see what John Lane and Dave Patterson have lined up for Lane Auto Group. I was kind of hoping for overtime, we might get it. Mantano, 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 he's going to the basket quickly. Watch when he gets the ball, he's gone. Yeah, I would think if you're going to the basket, it'd be he or Kyle Pape, but we've seen Marsteller go to the basket pretty effectively as well. Oh, Montana isn't even on the floor. And maybe what you try to do is draw a double team cutting to the basket and have Leon Ballard left open. Montana and Crawford wasn't even on the floor. No, they do not have Mantano in the game. You're right. Or Crawford. They have Kyle Pate, Matt Ching, oh. Scott Cotto, Marsteller, and Leon Ballard. And Artie Wilson calling a timeout. Again, this is turning into an, thankfully the, these timeouts aren't as long as NBA timeouts, but we have had a lot. It seems like each team has used their five in the last four minutes. But this is a critical stage to say the least. 7.7 .7 seconds left, 106, 106. Now, Artie, you're not happy. I mean, uh, Tony, you're not happy that Lane Auto Group has Mantano on the bench. Who are you gonna put him in over though? Well, they got a bunch of guys that uh, a bunch of guys that aren't nearly as quick as Montano or Crawford, who, both who go to the basket extremely well and are extremely quick, and they're very, very both very good in the open court. Instead, they have some guys who are good shooters over quickness. I don't do Which that. Which would make you think that they're not trying to attack the basket necessarily on this possession. And with 7.7 .7 left, you might understand that that it might be a little too much to ask to go coast to coast. Um, Even though you can, it seems like John Lane might be setting it up for a shot, maybe uh, on the perimeter. Boy, oh boy. You can guard perimeter shots. You can't guard speed. Well, let's see what Matthew Ching is going to do in bounding the ball. Tough defense. He gives it to Pate. Six seconds. Five. Goes around a screen. Four seconds. Three seconds. Pate way out for a three. No good. And we got our wish. We're going to overtime. I was half joking when I said it. But why not? Free basketball is what we're getting, just like Saturday. We said on Saturday we doubt if Tuesday night can possibly top what we saw on Saturday. I think we're getting that, Tony. We're getting our wish. Uh, they do settle. I don't know if that was a shot called in the timeout for about a 30-foot three-point attempt by Kyle Pape. It was not close. With 7.7 .7 left, you don't have a lot of options. That, though. That's the shot you get when you don't have any speed on the court. Exactly that shot. And that shot is a very, very low percentage shot. Going to the basket gives you the basket, maybe, and a foul, maybe. When you take that kind of a shot, there is no chance of a foul. I'm letting you shoot that shot every single time you want to shoot it. That was a good 25, 30 foot shot. Yep. At the end of the game, with seven seconds left on that clock, that could have been taken to the basket. I, I would assume that John Lane didn't have confidence that his players may be able to get that far to get off the shot. Maybe just with a good de uh, a defense there, you might be stuck out there, and maybe that's what he called. But I agree, that was a long shot to try to make for a game winner. Well, your guy, Brandon Matano, is back in the game for Lane Auto Group. We are in overtime. Pape, Cato, Montano, Marsteller, and Ching in for Lane Auto Group. Webster Chan jumping center with Al Kai Wong, Connor Looney, Baron Obis, and Oscar Pedroso for Electricity. That's why we're in overtime, tied at 106.
Webster Chan really hit those big shots down the stretch. Gives it over to Baranovas. His three is short. He's been on the bench too long to take that shot. Montano with the rebound. He's going to look to run and take it to the basket. And that's shot exactly the what I'm he talking did. about. Exactly what I'm talking about right there. Lane Auto Group had a big lead. Now in overtime with a two-point lead. Looney with the ball. Covered by Cheng. He's going to try to take it and nothing there. Baranovas behind the back pass to Pedroso for a three. That is short. Cato with a strong rebound. Mantano. Mantano with the ball. Covered by Connor Looney. Goes around a screen. He'll try a three. No good. It was hot for a while in the second half. Baranovas with the rebound. Over to Alkai Wong. Wong drives in. Layup is a little too strong. Ball is tipped and Chink comes up with it. 108-106. A little over a minute in. Marstella with the ball. Marstella covered by Pedroso. Drives in. Left-handed shot is good. And they're going to call a foul. Nice move by James Marstella. Watch the replay. Switches his hand as he goes in towards the left. Left-handed shot is good and draws the foul. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot, beautiful drive. The drive is where it's at in, in any kind of summer league, any kind of park play, any kind. A drive is always in, in demand. Four-point lead, looking to make it five. Tony, you've been doing this longer than I have for Olelo TV. Do we get paid extra for overtime games? Uh, I don't think so. Shot is no good by Marsteller. They're doing it for the love of the game, and boy, do we love this game. Webster Chan comes in, shot is off. Loose ball knocked out of bounds, and it's going to go over to Lane Auto Group. What did, ne what did Negus Webster Chan do, who's a pro? Right to the basket. Doesn't even wait. But he had a tough angle on that one. Couldn't convert to the no, left side. No, I mean at the end of the game. Right to the basket. We made those Don't two big even. ones at the end of regulation. Yep. and got the foul. You're right. First minute oh, and a half wow. has been all Lane Auto Group. Like Christian Hawaii have not scored in overtime. Ching with the ball, off balance, uses his body, shot is too strong. Tell Tolti with a rebound. Oh, he looks to go stop coast to coast. Gives it to Webster Chan, easy layup, nice pass, nice shot by Webster Chan. 110-108. When I said these teams were going to get in the 120 range, I meant in regulation, but we're going to get there in overtime. Marcelo with the ball, pulls it out. Looney on him, giving him plenty of space. Less than three minutes left. Marstella drives again. This shot is no good. He gets fouled. Thomas Yoshida calling it from near midcourt. Watch the replay. Marstella going to his left again. Pulls up from like eight feet. Shot short, but it'll go to the line. Nobody has fouled out of this game as of yet. No, but that going to the basket right there was a great move. Very good move. Very good idea. James Marstella out of Millie High School. First shot is good. Three-point lead, 111-108. He, he sure Pedroso must have improved a lot. What do you think, Garrison's high school? Because I never heard of him before. There's a few schools on these <laughs> rosters that we haven't heard of. I think they do exist somewhere in the mainland. <laughs> Connor Looney taking a seat. Marstella with the ball. Made to it. Good. Both free throws good by James Marstella. He's been hot in overtime. Four-point lead. Webster Chan with the ball. Pulls up deep from three. And for Negus Webster Chan. He has been the point guard for the Tristan Hawaii over the stretch. Two three-point plays going to the free throw line. And that three-point on the shot. 112, 111. 230 left in overtime. Lane Auto Group up by one. Move the ball. Ching's going to get fouled by Pedrozo. I can't believe that's not five on him. We'll find out. Two free throws for both teams in the double bonus. And we're watching a replay here. Of the end of the game, huh? Unnecessary foul. The momentum carried Pedrozo into Ching. First shot is good by Matthew Ching. Two twenty-six left. Two-point game. Three-point game, 114-111. Webster Chan has been on fire with the ball. Which is left hand, pulls up. Long two-pointer, no good air ball. Strong rebound by Akai Wong. 
Gets the screen, goes around it, pulls up from three with a ton of right on him. What a shot by Al Kaiwa. Moving to his left, and we are tied at 114 apiece. Two minute mark of overtime. Ching with the ball. There are an on him. 18 on the shot clock. Gives it over to Pate. Nothing there. 12 on the shot clock. Teams look a little bit tired. Pape drives in. Right-handed shot is good. He gets fouled. Nice move by Kyle Pape. Kind of hesitant a little bit. Then drives in as you watch the replay. Uses his body well. Chow Tofi with a reach in. And that will be all for Desmond Chow Tofi of Electricians Hawaii. He fouls out with number six. Six, did he say? Strong game by Desmond Chow Tofi. And... Arnie Wilson waiting to put in the replacement. Thinking about who it'll be. Arnie knows he has a minute and will use most of it to decide on Connor Looney back in the game. I don't know who else he could have really put in at this point. I mean, you got guys on the bench, but Clayton Guy and James Davis have played, but I think you need Looney. Free throw coming up by Pate, trying to get the three-point play. Not as good. 117, 114. Minute 40 left in overtime. Wong with the ball. Pulls up for a three again. This one no good. Ballard with the rebound. Get out of there. Marcello, he's going to get fouled by Looney. Artie Wilson thinking that Marcello stepped out of bounds. And hard to tell from our angle. Close. Have you seen a coach in all your years here, Tony, complain more than Artie Wilson? <laughs> yeah, I see him in the mirror every time <laughs> I shave. In your tenure at HPU, you never complained as much as Artie. <laughs> Artie's enjoying and getting the most out of it. Marcella makes the first free throw. Two possession game, 118-114. Clock's going to be a factor. Pretty soon. Not yet, but pretty soon. 127 left. Second free throw, good. Webster Chan with the ball. The team's down by five. Almost loses it. Picks it up. Covered by Pate. Over to Looney, but he throws it out of bounds. That's on uh, Webster Chan. He threw it to Looney's right, but Looney was standing Big still. Possession, Costly turnover. Big possession. Marcella with the ball. Throws it into Pate. Almost gets it stolen. Kick ball by Connor Looney. 114 left. See, every every time you force a team to take the ball out of bounds, you have another steal opportunity. A much better than letting him go. Now they got another good steal opportunity by doing the kick in the ball. Five point lead for Lane Auto Group. I'm not sure if they've won any championships in this league. We know uh, Artie Wilson and the team has. Yeah. And they are the defending champs, and they're undefeated this year at 11 and 0. Ching with the ball is going to get fouled by Vienna. I think you have to right now because John Lane is having his team use up the majority of the shot clock, 25, 26 seconds or so. You can't afford to let him do that. You've got to foul before that. Especially down by five, and it could be more than that now. Ching at the line. From Orange Coast College. First shot is good. Lane Auto Group has done a good job with their free throws the second half and overtime. Six point lead. The shot goes in, it'll be a three possession game. Yeah, that's hard to overcome in a minute. And it is good. Get off the line. Left. Seven point lead, Looney with the ball. Goes in for the layup, it's off. Wow, Marcella with the rebound. No, no. Escapes the pressure. No. Gives it up to no. Ballard. There you go. Gonna play a little keep away with Ching with the ball. They can't even steal it. Webster Chan kicks it out of bounds. 48.1 left. This will take a lot for Electricians Hawaii to tie this game. They don't have the ball and they trail by seven. Pape's just gonna run all over the backcourt. And he's going to get fouled by Webster Chan with 42.2 left. Two free throws for Kyle Pape. 
There's still a lot of time, but it's going to make the task for Electricity Y that much tougher. Pape again at the line. First one good. Well, that's about their sixth or seventh free throw in a row they've hit. Clutch free throw shooting down the, down the end of the game, which is very important. Pape at the line. And it is good. 123, 114. Webster Chan gets fouled by Pape. That's one thing you don't want to do if you're laying auto group. Stop the clock and give him a chance to score with no time coming off. So Negus Webster Chan at the line for two. Pretty soon they're going to have to consider that. Pretty soon. We gotta do it right now. They have to wait pretty soon. You better miss it, son. Webster Chan with the second free throw. It is good. 123, 116. Turnover would come in handy right now for Electricians Hawaii. And they are not able to do that, but they are able to foul rather quickly. Marcella going uh, gets the foul. Marcella. Commits the foul. Marcella's made five four free throws in a row. Yeah, he's been hot. Made a couple of nice layups down the stretch yeah. as well. James Marstella gets fouled. We'll go to the line for two. First one good. 36.4 seconds left. Beautiful clutch free throw shooting by Lane Auto Group. Beautiful. Absolutely terrific. Absolutely terrific free throw shooting. And Artie Wilson doing some uh, maintenance, mopping up the floor. John Lane coaching Lane Auto Group, not in uniform tonight, but doing a great job coaching. Not, not, Did not, not look good it. for them towards the end of regulation. And at halftime, they had a six point deficit, 54 48. Marstella with the second free throw. It is good. 125, 116. Get off the ball. Left. Webster Channel, ah. the ball. they need three pointers now. They do not need a turnover. Webster Chan loses it. Mantano with the ball. See if he can get a dunk. That'd be nice to see. Marstella will get the dunk. One-handed dunk for James Marstella. That will put the game away. 127, 116. 22 seconds left. And Looney's going to go in for the layup. 127, 118. 19.6 left. Ballard with the ball over to Mantano. I think the fans would like to see him go up for a dunk. I don't think he's going to get the opportunity. And now Kai Wong with a foul to stop the clock. 127, 118, 8.5 left. Tough loss, the only loss of the season for Electricians Hawaii. The defending champs. And not sure why Artie Wilson is calling a timeout. He doesn't want to take these home with him, apparently. I have a feeling he just wants to congratulate his team on what they've accomplished and make sure that they are good sports after this game. But a little unusual for Artie to call this timeout with eight and a half seconds left. And we're going to have both teams coming on the court in just a second. And this is all but in the books as Leon Ballard signaling that to our camera crew. Feel bad for Electricians Hawaii. Feel great for Lane Auto Group for what they've accomplished. Second seed in this league. Seven and four coming into tonight's game. Got a bye in the first round of the quarterfinals, one on Saturday. One by 21 on Saturday for Mechanical Enterprises. And in overtime tonight, we'll get the championship victory. Marstella's second free throw, or first free throw is good, excuse me. Long with the foul before the timeout. 128-118. Second free throw, good. 
129-118. Webster Chan with the ball, take a th takes a three. No good, paper the rebound, and that will do it as we are done here. As Webster Chan asks for the ball at the end and gets the uh, basket after the basket. 129-118 as we're watching Lane Auto Group, coaches and players with their celebration. A lot of smiles on their bench. Well-deserved victory by Lane Auto Group. What a game they had. Got to give them a lot of credit. Both teams shaking hands right now. And I have to admit, when I first got here and saw Al Kai Wong and Nika Webster Chan for Artie Wilson's Electricians Hawaii, I thought it, the chances for them was voting well that they would get this victory. And they have the six-point lead at halftime. Had a double-digit lead in the second half and a seven-point lead with a couple of minutes left. And Lane Auto Group really caught fire and actually had a lead at the end of regulation. It wasn't for Nika Webster Chan and two layups and getting fouled on both, getting two three-point plays. We wouldn't have been in overtime. And what a performance it was. Lane Auto Group had the ball at the end of regulation, wasn't able to convert, but in overtime, it was all Lane Auto Group. And to win by 11 at a championship game against an undefeated team, you've got to give credit to John Lane and his team, Lane Auto Group. A lot of congratulations for Artie Wilson and his team. Their only loss of the season and it comes in a championship game. They will not repeat this year. They have got a lot of championships over the years in this Hawaii College Summer League, but tonight it was Lane Auto Group, and what a performance they had, giving their, give their team a lot of credit. Brandon Matano coming in from the Big Island for this game, hit four threes in the second half. Kyle Pape hitting some big shots, and John Marsteller out of Mililani doing a great job as well. It was a team victory team effort in the second half and you got to love what you saw out here and we have talked several times this league about the lack of University of Hawaii players and I know it's been talked about over and over despite that we had such talent on the court not only tonight throughout the league throughout these playoffs a lot of great basketball play by both teams a lot of great coaching by all the coaches it was a lot of fun to be up here and see such incredible basketball being played and the guys that played up here, we thank them. A lot of credit goes out to them for putting up the performances that we will not forget for a long time. The last two games went overtime. Artie Wilson's team winning on Saturday over uh, Coastal Enterprises. And tonight we have uh, social contracting, excuse me. And then tonight we have another overtime game where unfortunately for like Chris and Hawaii didn't work out. But for Lane Auto Group, they get the victory, and we congratulate them. Uh, they are getting some lays from their fans out there. Good turnout by the fans here tonight as well. And it was just great to hear the excitement in this gym. And even Artie Wilson uh, getting uh, well good wishes from his fan support, the support by all the fans out there for his players, and a great performance out here at Manoa Rec. The final score, 129-118. We were gonna try to get a player or a coach. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to before we wrap it up. We wanna thank everybody for tuning in on Olelo TV for these playoff games. We're thrilled that we can bring them to you every year. And really wanna thank the crew here from John and all of his staff here on Olelo doing a great job, for Tony Salito doing a great job, and I am thrilled to be able to bring these games on TV. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next summer. Have a great night. Aloha.